Hello, I'm Stephen Vaughan, a Senior Lecturer specialising in Environmental Law at UCL's Faculty of Laws. In this talk, I'm going to run through with you the module International Environmental Law, for which I'm Module Convener. And this is one of the qualifying modules for the LLM in Environmental Law and Policy and the LLM in Energy Law. Just to explain my background, I started off my life as a lawyer working in the City of London for two large international law firms, advising multinational clients, governments, other public bodies and NGOs on national, EU and international environmental law. In this module, we'll examine the main principles behind international environmental law that govern global environmental challenges. So let me give you an example. Imagine you're the president of a country with a large nuclear facility and that nuclear plant has an accident. As a result of that accident, nuclear radiation seeps into the air, into the soil, into the sea. And that radiation impacts not only on your own people, your own plants, your own environment in your own country, but on other countries as well. What are the laws that govern that sort of international environmental damage? How are those laws created? How are they enforced? It's these sorts of questions that we'll be answering in this module. The module splits into two parts. In part one, we'll look at the basics and framing of international environmental law, its history, where it comes from, how it's created and debated, who are the different actors who are relevant to these processes, so governments, international organisations, multinational corporations, NGOs, individuals, etc. And we'll ask about the bindingness of international environmental law. Does it bind those to whom it is addressed? And why is that important? Why does it matter if you have to comply with international environmental law? In the second half of the module, what we then do is take those introductory framing ideas and apply them to particular contexts. So chemicals regulation, the shipment of waste, atmospheric pollution, marine fisheries policy. What I should also do, I think, is explain my approach to teaching. I'm really interested in hearing from you about the sorts of things you're interested in. And so at the start of the module, we'll have a debate and talk about possible ideas for topics in the module. And if there's something that you as a group particularly want to study, then we'll certainly include that in the things that we look at. What I should also say is there's absolutely no need to have studied international law before studying international environmental law. If you have studied it, that's great. And if you haven't, there are various introductory readings on the website that you can begin if you want to, to get yourself accustomed to some of the ideas in international law before we go on and then apply those to international environmental law. I'm really excited about this module and hope to see you in term two for international environmental law.